What's good, you too? Oh, sorry about my shirts, man. They're riding up. Um, this is Anthony Vandal, aka MAL Savvy Yoga, hip hop artist out of Houston. Well, I asked for a bigger street game. Um, my homo was locked in, and I showed you the Nike 89s I had. God, I was wearing them, um, and I don't know, like, I didn't feel good in them. So my homeboy walking with these old sixes. You know what I'm saying? They're all messed up, but I worked on them all night. Like, literally, I've been working all night. And I couldn't stop helping myself trying to get them good looking. And right here by me, you can probably see. Um, these are old, but you know, I love these. I used to love these because I had top look. That little music thing, you know. I don't know how the, how it just looks. I love these stains in the back, like on my concords, on my six ring concords, on all my other six rings. Well, I never had, I had a pair of sixes, the white and black ones, but um, I recently gave those to my little brother, Alex. But anyways, so um, I don't know. I fell in love with these shoes. Uh, they were, I don't know. You, you can't really tell that I kind of clean the bottom. Um, but they used to be like a real piss. Like a real piss yellow. Like. I don't know if you can see. Like, I, if you can see, like, I can't, like. Well, you can kind of see the blue coming back on the side. Let's see if you can see it. Right here. I don't know if you can see that. Like a little blue. No, well. This part is supposed to be blue right here. Like the yellow is supposed to be like like on the Concord eleven. Now they're blue. You know. I was looking at the toe box and the toe box it was all messed up. And I'm gonna have to fix all this tearing right there. I'm gonna fix the tearing coming off right there. I'm gonna give me some dye. I'm gonna kinda what I do is if y'all ever okay, let me give you a tip on how you how you redo cracked um how do I say um cracked suede. Well, I recently did a repair for my mom, but I can't show you like for real. It's like these were all cracked. I don't know, like they were all dusty and dirty. Y'all probably know you see right. There in the front of it, I don't know you tell it kind of got painted a little bit, but what it's called is dye, and you could buy it per se in anywhere like at a Walmart or a Target or or like maybe CVS. And I don't know, no, Fam Dollar maybe because a little thing, little bottle has a little um, a little brush in it, you can dab it everywhere. But what I do when it cracks. Like this kind of problem right here, so you can see. What you do is, or well, what I do is, I get a little sip of fluid, I rub it on my finger, just a tip. Kind of just, well, not on my finger, I'm tripping. On the, on the two. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, it's late at night. <laughs> I sound like a fucking retard, but, um, like, the, the ear things you clean your ears with, I don't know what it's called. I'm tripping. And I got to have a little bit of it. Just to just just enough, just to keep it like keep it on there still. And before I do it, they say never iron, never iron your toe box if it has if it's not leather. Well, I still do it before I do it before I paint it again because I mean if it's gonna mess up, you know, dying is just gonna make it new again. And you can just always after you after you iron it. What I do is I get I, di I get some detergent, and some water. I put the detergent and water, mix it up together. So and I rub it on here on the suede, and I take it off with a brush. And and then what I do is I let it dry, so let it sit on dry. I mean it ain't gonna matter. It's it's, it's ugly after you rub it, cause then you need to get the dye and you need to dab it on there. I only do toe boxes for the dye. Never, I've never tried doing like parts like this, like in the red, because I try. Well, my big brother tried it one time, but his 
night, it gets a little messy if you die hitting another part. You don't want that to happen. So, I mean, so you know, some of the things I traded these for the 1989. Um, they look alright though. They didn't look like this. They were dirty. They were all nasty. Had like cracks all in them. I, I had to fix it as much as I can. You know, and I try I'm trying to fix it to its original place. I will make these new again. Or at least kinda make it look new. So anyways, I mean like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, so I've I've been in two games for a while. I just haven't been teaching you how I do it. First time I taught you my technique. Okay. Deuce deuce, I'm out. You may these kind of these are both blue shoes. Oh, before you go, um this part right here, I don't know if you have like um Patman shoes. If you ever, if they go gotten kind of a little dull look, cause these were dull. I was CVS and this girl said she was a sneakerhead. And you sneakerhead, she said, like, yeah. She's like, she dropped lotion on her stuff one time. And she learned that if you put lotion on it, like skin, you know, it'll make it shiny again. And I didn't have lotion. So she hooked me up with this. Mmm, just easy cleansing, skin cleanser. You know, just it's not lotion, it's soft, it's soothing and softens skin as it cleans it and shines. It's just a thousand dollar brand. I put it on there, rub it on there, get a paper towel, just wipe it off. I mean, and it gives it that good little shine again. So, I mean, you know, clean them up. I'm gonna repaint them, repaint all this because it's starting to crack on the detail. It's starting to crack some. I mean, it's time to get back to work. I do it now. I got bored. Put it up. Said, time to tell y'all. I want to put the board. So, these are them. No surprise. Yeah. I'm out.